believe you are the new manager of West Brom. Did you have any other... Well, you know, I've been offered loads of great big jobs, to be fair. I got offered the chance to go and manage the Burger King in the city centre. But look, I told them I've worked with Whoppers before. I had to pick a lever of them every week at Newcastle. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Well, you know, absolutely brilliant. And was Big Andy Carroll happy to see you? Well, you know, Big Andy was very emotional. He was so emotional. Tears of joy, I think. What have I done to deserve this? You know, why is this happening to me? But he does deserve it. He's prolific. Seven goals and 694 appearances. He's the English batter Stuter. Well, you know, lovely ponytail. Steve, could you be up there with Newcastle next? Well, Steve. let's not get carried away. Let's not get carried away. We're well behind at the minute. There's lots of work to be done. And I can tell you now, we will not be in the same league as Newcastle. United next season because we'll be in the Premier League well you know no I really hope they go down can't stand them well you know Steve have you managed to speak to your new players about the future well we had a team meeting we had a team meeting and I said to the lads look you know you know when the chips are down mmm cheesy chips mmm sorry no we need to make sure that we we need to make sure that we catch up mmm tomato ketchup all over me donna kebab with chilies sorry sorry what was I saying I'm totally Totally sidetracked there, well you know. And Steve, will there be any new signings? Well I've still got I've still got friends at Newcastle, so they've been good to me and they've sent me Jamal Sellers, John Joe Shelby, uh, Matt Ritchie, uh, the Brazilian Jeff Horsfield, Joe Linton and Jeff Hendrick. Yeah, which is quite strange because he only asked for Dwight Keel. Well you know they couldn't wait to get rid of them. Well you know, baggy for life, hope Newcastle get relegated. Well you know.